Hi there. In this energy healing, we addressed healing the trauma of COVID and shame around having legitimate needs. Stay tuned. Welcome. Welcome to Community Energy Healings to Unlock Your Brightest Future, no matter what's happening in the world. This is a service that I offer to the general public as a gift for anyone who resonates with this type of support. Energy healings themselves are an innovative empowerment tool that's designed to help you to create your best life by accessing your natural power within while simultaneously releasing any resistance that might be holding you back. Now, if you're brand new to energy healings with me, I recommend that you pass on this particular energy healing and take a few first steps next. Go to unlockyourbrightestfuture.com, scroll down to the frequently asked questions and watch the orientation video, read the disclaimer, and then once you know that this is for you, come back. You can come back and participate live or participate in the recordings. All the information is there. Again, go to unlockyourbrightestfuture.com. Most of your questions should be answered and you can always reach out if you have any other questions. If you don't know me, my name is Sonia Miller. I'm an empowerment coach and an energy healing practitioner, and I help accomplished women who feel that they're meant for more to unlock the purpose passion and prosperity that still eludes them without wasting time or working harder. Now, my coaching programs are tailored to professional women. However, my energy healings are open to anyone who resonates with the topics that we address. So all are welcome. So with that, we're going to move into our energy healing. And I invite you to settle in, pull out your journal, your notebook, or whatever device you're going to be taking some notes in. And we're going to start with doing our pre-energy healing assessment. So we have four assessment points that we check in, and then we compare that at the end with after the energy healing. So the first thing is to jot down in your notebook or your journal, what is something that you'd love to create or experience in your future, whether it's immediate or long-term, and just tune into whatever is true for you at this moment in time. Okay, each time we show up to an energy healing, the energy is fresh, it's it's relevant, it's present moment, and that's part of what makes it so powerful because that is what you are receiving right now to continue to unlock your brightest future. So jot down what that is. What is it that you're ready to create or experience in your future? And then you can write down these four assessment points, just one, two, three, four, and then we'll fill them in. Number one is struggle. Number two is attention grabbers. Number three is resistance on a scale of one to 10. And number four is sensations. So I'm going to go over them again. So as you allow yourself to think about and feel about what it is that you want to create or experience in your future. Notice any struggle that you're aware of right now and just write down a few words about your struggle. And a good way to do this is to use a prompt. I struggle with fill in the blank. Now, the next thing are the attention grabbers. So the attention grabbers are whatever literally grabs your attention around this topic right now. So it's whatever is occupying the space of your awareness, whether it's certain words that you keep hearing or telling yourself, images, um, things that you're fixated on or trying to solve problems around, worries, concerns. What is in your awareness? What has your attention? What's grabbing your attention? and jot some of those down. All 
Okay. And so next is just trust yourself, whatever number comes up, any resistance, any struggle, any challenge on a scale of one to 10, write down what that number is. It's just a feeling, it's an intuition. There's no right or wrong. 10 is the highest level of resistance. You feel blocked. You feel challenged. You feel inertia. You feel confused. Whatever that feeling is on a number, 10 is the highest and one is the lowest, basically wide open, no resistance. Okay. And then finally, as you are aware of this topic, allow yourself to now bring your attention into your body. <coughs> and become aware of any sensations that you are perceiving in your body. And write down a few notes about what you perceive. So it could be where it is in your body. It could be how you would describe it. Does it have a color, a shape, a border? Is it intense? Is it subtle? Is there no sensation, but your awareness goes there? Is it fizzy? Is it tight? Is it sharp? Is it dull? Things like that. So write that down. And if you'd like, please say hello in the chat. I will be coming back afterwards as we wrap up. So post your, any questions you have, um, anything that you're aware of that you want to share right now, but we'll definitely be checking back so I can uh, learn how everyone did with this energy healing. All right. So wherever you're at with your assessment, you can put that down. Just know that you have it in your awareness and we're going to settle in now for the energy healing. So get comfortable, minimize any distractions, settle in. If at any time you feel any discomfort, just tap on your sternum, your heart center. Take a few deep breaths. Okay. Let's see, there's, there's something else I wanted to tell you. Ah, throughout the energy healing, you'll hear me say the phrase, repeat after me, and you can choose. You can either repeat after me out loud, you can repeat after me silently, or you can simply let the words wash over you any way that you want to participate. Okay. All right. So with that, we're going to get started. All right. So let's begin by taking a nice cleansing breath. If you haven't already, allow your eyelids to become heavy and close safely shut. Bring your awareness to the base of your spine and become aware of whatever is holding your body up. And recognize the presence of this physical support for your body and your being. Notice that it is reliable and here for you. This support. And know that with each breath you take, your breath is imbued with a divine intelligence that guides your body effortlessly into deeper and deeper relaxation, into deeper and deeper safety in this time and space for you. <clears throat> and know that if at any time you need to attend to something in your life, you're free to do so, you're safe to do so, the energy healing will continue for you. You can always come back and listen to the recording. And now bring your awareness to your heart and imagine that you're breathing in and out of your heart. And as you do, I'm going to guide you through three rounds of breath. Just follow my lead. With each round, you'll relax more into deeper and deeper safety and relaxation into greater openness and receptivity for your own unique wisdom, not mine, not anything I say, but your own unique wisdom. And 
And after we complete those three rounds of breathing, we'll resume a natural and comfortable rhythm. So begin by taking a deep breath and filling your lungs completely. And hold the fullness for one beat. And exhale longer and slower, expelling every last drop of breath to empty, holding the emptiness for one beat. Relaxing deeper. Now taking another deep breath to fill your lungs completely. Hold the fullness for one beat. And exhale longer and slower, expelling every last drop of breath to empty, holding the emptiness for one beat. Relaxing deeper. And now one more deep breath to fill your lungs completely. Holding the fullness for one beat. And exhale longer and slower, expelling every last drop of breath to empty, holding the emptiness for one beat. Relaxing deeper. And now resuming a natural and comfortable rhythm. As you breathe in and out of your heart, know that your heart is the doorway to divine love and intelligence. It opens the door to the life force energy of all that is and of which you are a part. There is no separation between you and life for you are an expression of life. And as you become more aware of the truth of life, as this energy flows into your body and being, you open up to more clarity about the truth of who you really are, as well as understanding that any that anything that is difficult or challenging is held in this love and in this divine intelligence. So as you breathe, the life force that you are illuminates your awareness to the deep knowing that you are wholeness. You are peace, you are power, you are freedom, you are purpose, you are health, you are prosperity, you are divine worthiness. You are all that is good. It is all available for you to experience. And as you feel these awarenesses open up with this divine light, you also become a magnetic receptor of the divine feminine energy from Mother Earth, the divine masculine energy from Father Spirit. All of these energies flow into your body, communing, radiating beyond your flesh to bathe you and surround you in love, safety, guidance, and protection. Okay. So repeat after me. My intention is to 100% embody fully the divine truth of who I really am and to relate to all that is presenting in the love, peace, and light of truth now and forevermore, better than I ever imagined. So we have sacred space and we have the focus for today. Overall strength is 10, 20, 30% strength, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and weakness is at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90% weakness. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, infinity to infinity, 1, 2, 3, dimensional influences, memories, residuals, forgiving, forgetting, correcting, right now is meant strong, complete, permanent, absolute to infinity, past, present, future, strong. Take a deep breath, tap on your sternum, your heart center. Okay. Are there internal objections? Yes. Repeat after me. I want to heal this. It's safe to heal this. I deserve to heal this. It will benefit me and others to heal this. It is possible to heal this. I will heal this. 
Okay, they're all weak. Priority one, two, safety, deserve two. Okay, so tapping on the, this is called the karate chop point, the side of your palm. And repeat after me. Even though a part of me thinks that I don't deserve to heal this, I am willing to love and honor myself anyway and relax into my natural divine worthiness in ways better than I ever imagined. Even though part of me thinks that I don't deserve to heal this, I am willing to love and honor myself anyway and relax into my natural divine worthiness in ways better than I ever imagined. Even though part of me thinks that I don't deserve to heal this, I am willing to love and honor myself anyway and to relax into my natural divine worthiness in ways better than I ever imagined. Okay, you can stop tapping there, tap on your heart center, take a deep breath. Okay, you can stop tapping, repeat after me. I want to heal this. It's safe to heal this. I deserve to heal this. It will benefit me and others to heal this. It is possible to heal this. I will heal this. I'm going to check for denial, denial of denial, no perception, no chromosomal programming, NDPR conflict. Take a deep breath. Okay. So overall strength now, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% strength up from 30, 70, 80, 90, 100. And weakness, <clears throat> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50% weakness down from 90. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, infinity to infinity, past, present. Hmm. Hold on a second. Infinity, past, present. There's that kind of a little inter interesting little blip that happened there. I'm going to see what shows up here. So it just happens sometimes. And then it's like, it's kind of like energy that's pushing through to be recognized. So there's something kind of pushing through. And some of you might have had an experience like that, whether it's um, an awareness, a memory, a feeling in your body. So just breathe through it, whatever that was. So we'll see what happens here. some stuff all right so let's see what the focus is for today or wound Hmm. It's really interesting. Was this set? Okay. Hmm. There's a core wound coming through. Um, it is safer to be looked upon as sickly. Hmm. If I recall last time, we had kind of a point of entry around health. So... Um, if any of you, this is the first layer of information I'm getting, but if any of you are wrestling with health issues, are feeling sick, um, are sick, and there's actually 
I'll just say in my own personal world, I've had a number of people, you know, letting me know that, you know, there's, there, you know, it doesn't have to be dire, but there's sickness and, um, and it's definitely in the, in the physical body. Okay. And so, um, when we're sick, of course, we want to feel better, but there's a core wound that's showing up here that's at the energetic level about it can cause a resistance with actually experiencing our natural wholeness, our innate natural wholeness and health. Um, and this core wound is, is pointing to it, which is, it is, there's a belief, there's a, there's a, an agreement, there's a trauma, there's something which is, it is safer to be looked upon as sickly. And now some information just came in. Um, it's interesting because the first, I'm going to check, the first one that came in is around attention. And um, this actually came up a few energy healings ago, if I recall, about the core need for attention. There's actually, this is really interesting, because there's a global energy coming in around, wow, this is really interesting. So this is tying into COVID. This is tying into isolation. This is tying, this is tying into the disconnect the disconnection that we experience, there's, you know, there's just a lot coming in now. So there's, there's like the illusion of connection through social media, but it's not actually true connection. There's the, this deep desire um, for attention and nurturing. There's a, there's these very personal, intimate needs that are not being met. Attention is one of them, um, but it's very connected to, it's going to be really this this may be we'll see uh this may be a healing around some trauma around covid and some leftovers and distortions around well if i'm sick i get attention so this is really interesting so much to tap on your heart center we'll we'll start to like see what the energy is around this um honestly Honestly, I, you know, I've been, I was tuned into the energies before. I didn't, I didn't sense this before we started. So this is, that's kind of like, I think it's the energy that was pushing through. It might also have to do with well, certain parts of the world this time of year, this season, at least in the U.S. It's winter and people, it's cold. And we have ice storms, oh, different parts of the world too. So just tap. And um, as you do that, I'm going to confirm physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, psychic, and psychological. So this core wound is on all levels, at all levels of consciousness. Okay, you can stop tapping. So what do we, so is, is what I picked up on accurate? So everything that came through is being confirmed. So let's now see what specifically we need to look at here. Actually, I, I really need to know this. So is this trauma related to COVID and physical health. It's really interesting because for many people, the obvious energy would be fear. Fear of getting COVID, fear of getting sick, fear of walking around outside, you know, um, fear around vaccinations, fear around mat. There's just, that would be the obvious energy. And there's definitely, that's there. There's fear there. But there's this deeper layer <clears throat> that also, also recognizes that when we're sick, it's almost a legitimate, it's, it's like, I don't know how to get this need met of attention, but if I'm sick, it kind of legitimizes the need. It makes it okay to... to need attention, want attention. It's really interesting. So there's, it's, it's safe. There's a safety in it. Um, so what this, this in, is kind of like this entangled knot, um, which then, because it's unconscious, um, it minimizes our capacity to really own our power, both to get our needs met, both to nurture um, connection and to be healthy, to own our, our health, right? So this this kind of, um, what this does is it creates this sort of like, I want to be healthy, but I don't want to be healthy. Because if I'm healthy, I won't need anybody and nobody will give me attention. But if I'm not healthy, um, at least I'll get attention, but then I won't be healthy. So there's this like um, catch 22 that's occurring. 
Okay. So with that, um, and again, part of a lot of this it would, would have been very unconscious and buried. We had every level of blockage around healing this. Want to, safe to, deserve to, benefit me and others, and possible, and will. So we're clearing away the um, the fog to really get to uh, what's underneath to disentangle it. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what is associated with it's safer to be looked on upon as sick, which is all part of this, this sort of energetic knot. There's emotional energy, 1 to 10, 20, 10, 15, 10, 11. Yeah, so insecurity. Oh, that's what I want. So I wanted to I wanted to write this down. So this this is healing a some trauma energy around COVID. Yeah. Okay. Trauma energy regarding COVID. Okay, so insecurity. Yeah. All of everything that gets named, I'm neutralizing it as we go. Some more emotions, one to ten, one to five, one, two. There's anxiety, so insecurity, anxiety, correcting. More emotions, one to 10, one to five. Confused. Correcting, more emotions. Okay, so that confusion, that's part of the trauma. That came through really strong. This goes back to when COVID was happening. It's the confusion of what is true. What do I believe? And that's 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 a real assault on our sense of safety because we just there was so much confusion around this. So confusion is a big one. There's actually a lot of draining around this. So I don't even know. I don't even know what I need to be healthy. And this isn't just COVID too. This occurs in, um, and I've been seeing this now that I'm tuning into it. Um. Many times when we have symptoms, there's, a, there's just a lot coming through. There was a time for many, I can't speak for all, but for many where if you got sick, you went to the doctor and you had a sense of like the doctors know. Um, they can help me. They can figure it out. So there was a wound to our relationship with our healers and our helpers and medicine. Um, and it's escalated our fears around sensations in our bodies, symptoms, because even if we're you know, things, let's say we had symptoms, it used to be like, oh, you have a cold, you have a cough, you have a bug you know, just give it a few days, rest, have some soup. There was also, there's a fear around our bodies, like our, the sensations in our bodies. And this is very, very important because the sensations in your body are the doorway, are the indicators that you have needs. And, and there's a, a real disconnect for not only that, but it's the it's the home that we return to for nurturing and nurturing is the consciousness of I receive simply because I exist. I don't feel well, I receive nurturing just because I exist, not because I earned it, not because I figured it out, not because I'm achieving and doing. So this is, um, there's many levels of wounding around this in terms of feeling safe in our bodies, feeling safe in the sensations of our bodies, feeling safe with our healers and um, uh, the medical profession, feeling safe with how we get information. Um, so this, it is safer to look be looked upon as sick sickly is like this leftover of just grasping for how do I get attention? How do I know um, if I'm sick, at least I'll get attention. So of course it doesn't make logical sense. It just, it's a distortion, but it's what happens when we have traumas, these, these um, coping mechanisms and reactions on how to survive get locked in. So this would really interfere with our own, um, efforts towards health and well-being 
physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychically, and psychologically, if if a part of us is aligned with it's safer to be looked upon as sickly. So this is very, very powerful in, again, releasing any resistance that's in the way of you expanding into your next level of health and well-being, again, physical and non-physical. So confusion was big there. All right, so you can stop tapping. More emotions, no. Anything else around it is safer to be looked upon as sickly. So that's it. I mean, this is um, a really focused, clear, simple one. And I'm just going to make sure I'm not missing anything. So in only the truth and light, is there anything more for today? No. Okay, so we're going into interventions. Um, no, before that, we're going into, are there any origins? Yes. So current life? Yes. So current life origins. I think I know this is going to go. This is going to be a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, is this like a global globe? This is a global thing. I can't even count the numbers because this is going to go way beyond anything I can count for the origins. But it's a current life um, uh, origin for the collective. So I'm going to say from one to infinity in terms of origins, this is going to be a giant collective healing. Um, so it, it benefits you individually, but it's it's a ripple effect. As you heal it, everyone contributes to being a healing force for this COVID trauma um, on our planet. So I'm going to say one to infinity. Um, are there past life origins, ancestral origins, others? So this is our, those who are participating that are in this current life that went through COVID, this is for you. So pretty much anyone who was guided to this, what was a part of that experience? Um, yeah, this is big. Okay, so current life origins, um, numeric tapping, uh, if a holding to a T vortex of light, spiritual bodies, you and release. Okay, we're gonna do it. Mm, you and release, and only the truth and the light. Are you sure we don't need spiritual bodies? It's a strong muscle. No. Okay. This is all we need. <clears throat> okay. So tap on your heart center. And as you take some deep breaths, we're going to release all this energy, reset your field, and restore you to the wholeness that's your true nature. And you can envision that wherever in your body or your being, you're holding this energy. The energy is collapsing into little bubbles of light. Just floating gently over to the spinal column as you tap. And beginning to trickle down your spinal column, through your hips, legs, at the bottoms of your feet, down into the earth. Mother Earth receives this energy, mulches it up with so much love and returns it back to source to be recycled. So keep tapping. We're going to release, reset, restore this energy, restoring you to your natural wholeness, <clears throat> correcting at the energy to matter, matter to energy level, to other dimensions, existence, universe, time, space, energy, black hole, the unknown. Yeah, the unknown. Eliminate free, independent, release, and protect. Memories, residuals, remnants, imprints, remains to zero. Memories, one, forgiving, one, forgetting, one. Right now, this minute's strong. Same, not same. Different, not different. Change, no change. 100% perception, conscious, and conscious enhancements, triggers, blockage. Take a deep breath. Okay, now keep tapping. I'm going to confirm that you've neutralized, healed, and released all current life energy origins one to infinity, neutralized, healed, and released all confusion, anxiety, insecurity, fear, and trauma energy around COVID for this time and space today, right now. There may be other layers, but for this, this is what we're focusing on. You've neutralized, healed, and released the core wound of it is safer to be looked upon as sickly um, on all levels of consciousness, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, psychic, and psychological. I'm also going to go back and backfill here um, as a way to ensure connection 
and the needs and and having needs met specifically attention came up again in face of disconnection and isolation okay so confirming that you can utilize healing release all energies around that physical mental spiritual emotional psychic and psychological take a deep breath Okay, so keep tapping and repeat after me. It is safe to be healthy. I'm going to confirm that physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychically, and psychologically. Repeat after me. I am willing, ready, and able to honor my needs, to honor my feelings, I am, and to have my needs met. This is coming through strongly, repeat after me. It is safe to have needs. It is safe to want to have my needs met. I am willing, ready, and able to discover the power of my vulnerability. It is safe and healthy to need, to need help, to need connection. Okay, I'm getting that I need to recheck on all of these for everyone. It's important. This one, I do want you to follow, repeat after me. So I'm going to slow it down. Repeat after me. It is safe for me to need attention. It is safe for me to need availability. It is safe for me to need time. It is safe for me to need space. It is safe for me to need protection. It is safe for me to need value. It is safe for me to regard my needs and wants as good and valuable. It is safe for me to need respect. It is safe for me to need affection. It is safe for me to need reassurance. It is safe for me to need holding. It is safe for me to need forgiveness. Are there any others that need to come through today? These specifically needed to be named. There are other needs. So, um, I'm going to have you say one more thing. Repeat after me. It is safe for me to have my own personal unique needs, whether they've been named here or not. And I'm going to invite everyone <clears throat> To just take, we'll take a, a silent space here now. If there is a need that you have that wasn't named, but is pushing through to be respected, to silently to yourself or out loud, fill in the blank. I'm going to give you space for that. It is safe for me to need 
fill in the blank. Okay, really good. I'm confirming all of this physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychically, psychologically. Repeat after me. I am willing, ready, and able to reclaim my wholeness. from the experience of COVID. I am willing, ready, and able to connect with my inner sense of security, independent of whatever's happening in the world. I am peace. <clears throat> I am in strength and harmony with clarity. And finally, I am willing, ready, and able to hear my inner wisdom. as it guides me in unlocking my brightest future, no matter what's happening in the world. Deep breath. Okay, and you can stop tapping now. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna start moving towards with the wrap up, so repeat after me. My intention has been to 100% embody fully the divine truth of who I really am and to relate to all that was presenting in the love, peace, and light of truth now and forevermore better than I ever imagined. Okay. Overall strength is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100% strength regarding today's topic and weaknesses 10, uh, 50, 50, oh, sorry, go back to um, 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, zero, zero. Good. All right. So we are going to start bringing this to a close. <clears throat> As you take some gentle breaths, allow them to start bringing you back to your waking reality. We give grateful thanks to our expanded selves, Mother Earth, Father Spirit, and the divine love of the universe world without end, fully releasing all of this unto the infinite power of the divine, allowing perfect right action to express in, as, and through you with ease and grace. And gently as you're ready, you can give your hands a squeeze to start you feeling yourself coming back to your body. Give your legs a squeeze. And as you're ready, when you're ready, and open your eyes and look around. And start checking in with how you feel. Mm. Okay. So we are going to begin the post-energy healing assessment. So as you cast your eyes upon your notes around the assessment points, struggle, attention grabbers, resistance one to 10 and sensations. <clears throat> Please share in the chat any comments about what you're aware of now, what's standing out for you. A couple prompts are let me know if you're feeling better, worse, or the same. And however you feel, that's okay. Um, if you feel better, we're always celebrating. If you don't, um, let me know your numbers. That's really helpful to me. Again, post any questions. I can answer them in the wrap-up. And also know that just sometimes it takes some time to integrate. <clears throat> and I will do that at the end. So please post your comments in the chat because I will definitely be um, 
looking here on Facebook. All right. So with that, let's move on to the life observations. So as you integrate this in the week ahead, pay attention to the attention grabbers that occupy the space of your awareness. Notice the shifts. Okay. Make note of opportunities, insights, and pleasant surprises. This is not a coincidence. This is a reflection of your consciousness has changed. And so now you're receiving back reflections of your consciousness. Remember, your consciousness creates your reality, but creating your, rea your reality does not mean controlling your reality. So this is a process of revealing the highest consciousness within you, and then that's what gets reflected back as manifestations. Um, and finally, take action on the feel-good breadcrumbs that show up with no attachment to the outcome as best you can. Um, I know it's tricky not to get attached, but just follow the breadcrumbs. That is life guiding you step by step by step. All right. So as a recap for today, we did a, a healing on our traumas and our experiences regarding COVID. Doesn't mean that that's the only thing that might be um, affecting you or left over from COVID, but it definitely was what is here to heal today. And just as a reminder, um, Whenever we do energy healings and you go back into your life, um, sometimes you feel really good for a while and sometimes not so much. Just know that it doesn't mean that it came back, that it didn't work. It just means that that released and now another layer is here available for you to heal. Okay. Um, and then finally, there was uh, some announcements I wanted to make. As of today, I believe today is January 16th. Um, if you catch this soon, um, I have decided to um, offer a couple $97 services, just really simple to help unlock. And here's the key, easy momentum. I've been kind of tuning in to clients and students and the general um, energy out there. And, you know, this transition into the, the new year has people at different places, tired, catching up, overwhelmed, and yet wanting to kind of get some energy moving in the right direction. So I thought that this would be really supportive, easy momentum. That's all it's designed for. So there's two things coming up. Please post in the comments if you'd like more information on this. One is a workshop on January 28th. It's a two-hour workshop. It's called Receive What You Want. And it's all about shifting from wanting to having without the hard work. And I will be walking people step by step through the three-step receive method that allows you to receive something you really want easily. And another thing that I'm doing is while these energy healings are a general open topic around unlocking your brightest future, I've also done group energy healings in the past. And I have a set that I've um, decided to um, refine so that other people can access these. So it's a pre-recorded series of three energy healings designed to stop settling, stop waiting, and get what you want now. So if those energies resonate for you, that's also $97. And both of these are going to be really helpful in unlocking easy momentum as we move into 2024. And as always, if you'd like to learn about private energy healings and what they're like, if I have all of my attention focused on your unique energy for whatever is important to you, just go to surpassyourlimits.com, click on the work with me link and look up the energy healings and just follow the breadcrumbs and that will help you there. All right. So with that, we'll wrap up for today. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I look forward to connecting with you here in the Q&A afterwards or in the chat uh, as well. And remember, your future is bright when you shine your light.